Thank you very much, sir, for a most interesting and stimulating uh, lecture. Um, I was very pleased to, really, uh, to hear that at least a million manuscripts had been uh, saved and they were dispersed amongst 60 families. What I find worrying is um, the people who are holding these manuscripts, some of them may uh, just die off and their descendants may not appreciate their significance. Also, the conditions under which they're held I suppose on the whole it's a dry climate which is conducive. But do you know whether there is any incentive, for example in this country, I think people can get tax relief if they donate certain papers and documents to the uh, British Library or British Museum, also works of art. Is there anything similar like that um, in Timbuk uh, to or in, in Mali which will perhaps ensure that these manuscripts will not be lost. Yes, the, uh, I mentioned a gentleman called Abdul Kadar Haidra, and he's uh, a librarian and a businessman. And he, um, uh, he, he's based in Bamako now, but he was based in Timbuktu. And he, he does, his thing is to try and cut deals with manuscript holders so that the manuscripts themselves can be scanned can be put into book form. And there are um, Islamic uh, 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 publishing houses that are putting some of those manuscripts out, but they are facsimiles. So there's no English or French translation. Those things are in, either you can read the Arabic or you can read the Ajami. So there are people like him doing that. Um, Outside of that, the, there's been money that has been put towards preservation by the South African government during the time of President Thabo Mbeki. And that's how the South Africa Mali project, so the money was coming from South Africa. And fruitful research did come out of it. A black South African astrophysicist, a Rodney Thebe Medupe, um, studied 37 Timbuktu manuscripts on astronomy and then made a documentary called The Astronomers of Timbuktu.